Seems like I'm really starting to enjoy the fragrances of Zoologist perfumes. Here's another great one. This is Macaque Yuzu Edition, launched in 2021. And once again, I'm enjoying the contrasts. You've got citruses contrasted with like woods and uh, incense notes. That's what this one is all about. And it smells really, really great. It wears beautifully on me. And I like the whole sparkliness from the citruses contrasted with the woods and uh, the smokiness that's in here. Either way, today I'm talking about Macaque Yuzu Edition, a 2021 launch. We're also doing a giveaway. We have a giveaway of the complete sample set of Zoologist perfumes uh, for North America and also European subscribers of this channel. So if you want to find out about this fragrance from Zoologist perfumes, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian, and yes, today I'm talking about Macaque Yuzu Edition. And I think I did a review of Macaque the Original with a, a guest on my channel who I kind of lost touch with way back when I was doing reviews at my home. So this is actually a breath of fresh air from this house and one that I'm really, really enjoying. It does kind of hint at some other fragrances, which I'll get to. Not necessarily identical or anything, it kind of reminds me. But I like the whole combination of the bright citruses with the woods and uh, the kind of incense smokiness. Uh, again, we do have that giveaway as well, so stick around till the end to find out how you can participate if you are a subscriber of this channel from North America and Europe. But before I get to the fragrance, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Also, click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I think I'm kind of finally circling around and enjoying the fragrances of Zoologist perfumes. I do want to kind of mention some of my favorites from the house. B happens to still be my favorite from Zoologist perfumes. I like the whole honey, uh, yellow flower, kind of powdery combination. It's a delicious... Uh, concoction to me and I like the sweet touches it's kind of almost it's definitely gourmand so it kind of has those uh, like a tea service uh, uh, breakfast or a uh, type of a kind of an experience so there's some gourmand notes in there along with the honey and then the royal jelly and the beeswax and then of course the uh, yellow flowers so that's still my favorite but uh, last year I also reviewed Chipmunk, which I really, really enjoy. It's the nutty fragrance. Very, very nutty with hazelnuts, but with some resins and some sweet touches. There's a qu quince note in here, I believe, if I can uh, remember correctly. So those two happen to be my favorites, but I also enjoy Squid. It's a kind of an aquatic marine fragrance that I really like. And of course, Elephant, and uh, we have Camel as well. There's a few others that I really like, but I think those are definitely ones that I enjoy wearing. And now Macaque uh, Yuzu Edition is also one that I'm really, really enjoying. It was a surprise. I don't know. I shouldn't dismiss any fragrances. I tend to do, but uh, I'm surprised at how great this is and I like the way it smells. So those are the kind of fragrances, obviously, I would wear. Because I do find some fragrances from Zoologist Perfumes to be a little more artistic rather than wearable. But the ones I'm talking about today, including the new, uh, this new one, although this is not as new as some of their newer releases, are the ones I really, really enjoy. So one more thing before I uh, get to the actual fragrance. Apparently there's a Macaque Fuji Apple version soon to launch as well worldwide. I believe it's currently exclusive somewhere else. So kind of anticipating that one and since uh, I'm enjoying this one too. But the Macaque Yuzu Edition is a 2021 launch, price and size 60 ml, $165. The perfumer is Mackenzie Riley. Its concentration is Extrait de Parfum. And I would call this a woody spicy or a woody citrus fragrance. Basically, that's what you get with this one. And you experience the woods and you experience the, the citruses and you also experience the spices in here. So Mackenzie Riley is a perfumer I haven't much experienced with her creations but I think she did a really really great job in this one and uh, it smells great to me I like the way it smells and again it's the contrasts that are really really appealing to me in this particular fragrance because I wouldn't think of citruses and kind of a smoky incense uh, working together but it really does work so the notes in uh, macaque uh, yuzu edition for top notes we've got Japanese yuzu mandarin orange juniper berry heart notes features myrrh hinoki wood hydrocarbon resin finally base notes features 
oak moss absolute, new caledonian sandalwood, olibanum hyper absolute. So there are some uh, unique notes in this particular fragrance, but overall it's a very very appealing fragrance. It's you know a incense fragrance which I'm very very familiar with. I grew up Christian Orthodox, so I know the smell of frankincense and things like that. So you do have that here, but it's that bright yuzum note at the top along with that uh, mandarin orange that really kind of has that invigorating touch. Almost like you're experiencing a very, very fresh church service. Does that make sense? Like very, very uh, uplifting and uh, refreshing kind of a take on a, a church service. So as soon as you spray Macaque Yuzu Edition, it's all about the Yuzu note up top along with the Mandarin Orange. So it wouldn't be called Yuzu Edition if it was not about the Yuzu up top because it does appear in the top. So it's very, very sparkling here. It's uplifting, it's effervescent. So you've got this kind of like very invigorating start with a little bit of zing and spice from the Yuzu note. And of course some sweetness, sweet citrusy touches from the mandarin orange note as well. The juniper berry appears a little bit, but for me it's mostly about the citruses uh, during the top notes stage. Finally, I'm starting to smell the hinoki wood. It does have this kind of like uh, cypress. It's a Japanese cypress, so the uh, smell kind of appears uh, and uh, becomes more of the dominant note once the yuzu is starting to slowly disappear, along with some resins in the heart notes as well. But for me, what really, really does it for this particular fragrance is when the olibanum appears, which is the, the incense, uh, the frankincense type note in the base note. So it's a, a combination of the yuzu, the hinoki wood, and then the olibanum to create this wonderful mixture, wonderful combination. Yes, it does get woody in the base, but uh, it's already kind of green and woody in the heart notes. But it's an overall beautiful composition. It's really, really great. And I think uh, if you like fragrances from Aesop or from uh, houses uh, like Comte de Garçon, I have a few fragrances from the house, uh, those two houses that utilize the Hinoki wood. You're probably going to like this one. But for me, it's very, very invigorating with that uh, citrusy touch that's at the top from the Yuzu note. So it's a good composition and it's also a great contrast with these notes that uh, I enjoy wearing. It's it's still not my all-time favorite from Zoologist Perfumes but I think it's a very wearable fragrance. It smells really really great and uh, it's a great combination. I didn't think yuzu and incense would work but it really does work here and uh, I think you guys should check it out if you like the idea of the citruses with woods and incense. Uh, so Macaque Yuzu Edition is my latest review from the House of Zoologist Perfumes. I think you should definitely check it out. It's definitely approved by me. I really enjoy this one. And now I'm curious to find out about the macaque uh, animal here because that's what this uh, particular fragrance focuses on. Either way guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this uh, particular fragrance. Have you sampled it? Do you know Mackenzie Riley? I believe she works uh, at IFF uh, International Flavors and Fragrances uh, and she creates fragrances for brands through that um, uh, company. But uh, let me know if you've sampled it. Let me know if you enjoy it. Let me know if you see some similarities to the other two fragrances I mentioned like Aesop's uh, Huil and then also Comme des Garçons uh, Hinoki. And once again those two are mostly focusing on the uh, Hinoki wood note. This one is about the Hinoki wood along with the uh, Japanese Yuzu. So it's a very very citrusy fragrance. Anyway let me know. Put some comments down. But let's move on to the giveaway. We have that very complete discovery set that uh, Zoologist Perfumes is uh, sponsoring today for subscribers of this channel from North America and also Europe. Let me know what your thoughts are on this particular fragrance and what do you think about Yuzu, Hinoki, and Olibanum mixed together? What sounds great to you? And does it make sense to have Macaque the animal uh, as this kind of uh, inspiration of these notes? What do you think? Put a comment down so I can find out. And please put your country, and if you're fr uh, commenting from uh, USA, please put your state down as well. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.